the results of gun violence often lead to lose-lose situations for families, says the founder of A Mother's Hurting Heart. It can put you in depression, you know, because it's so overwhelming. One family loses a loved one to a bullet, the other to a lengthy sentence. My hope is to try to save our juveniles, our youth, before it even get to that point. Tanaka Stringer founded the nonprofit organization after losing her son to gun violence just five days before his 21st birthday in 2011, hoping to find a better way to grieve. I'm just now learning how to celebrate Mother's Day. Last year was my first year from 2011 to know how to celebrate Mother's Day. Her organization offers counseling programs to parents and siblings of victims who she says are often neglected in the grieving process. They also work to educate youth about the dangers of gun violence, starting for school children at 10 years old. Sometimes the kids want to try to fit in and they don't know what to do. Rising seventh graders Skylar Gatling and Eden James say they've learned a lot through the program. Growing up, you have to be more of a leader and forge your own path, even though people try to bring you down sometimes and you should always try to follow your heart and what you think is best for you. She taught us about how it changed her life and how she didn't feel happy or anything anymore and she couldn't really celebrate anything anymore. The goal of Sunday's event is to raise awareness and give families of victims a place to come together. Something Stringer says is important since it's a hard thing to tackle alone.